Hi Facebook, happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are staying inside and staying warm. It is really, yeah, it's still, still coming down outside it looks like. I'm gonna wait for some people to hop on here real quick, um, but we just kind of wanted to get on here and chat about the COVID-19 vaccine. Obviously, um, we've had a lot of news surrounding that come out over the past day or so, specifically here locally yesterday when we had our first shipment of the vaccine arrive at Mercy St. V's downtown. And um, it was starting to get administered yesterday and continued on today. And they will continue until they vaccinate the first 975 people with their first uh, set of shots. So um, we will obviously continue to follow that. But uh, since, you know, we've kind of let you guys know that this is happening, we've been flooded with questions just about the vaccination process and, um, you know, other questions that you guys have about uh, timing for when everyone can get their shots. So I just wanted to hop on here and feel free to drop questions throughout this. But um, a couple of the main questions that we've been getting, I answered at five o'clock in my package. Um, and one of them that I found fairly interesting was, you know, surrounding people who've had COVID-19, if they should get the shot, if they should, um, you know, get vaccinated and when. So when is really uh, the big key there. So the short answer for that is yes, people who get COVID-19 are still encouraged to get the vaccine um, once they are able to, you know, once it becomes available for them. Um, but it depends on when you had COVID. So um, right now, you know, obviously a lot of research is still coming out about this disease. Um, but what doctors are confident in is the fact that once you get coronavirus, you are pretty much immune for th about three months. Um, you really can't become reinfected for at least three months is what they are um, confident in predicting at this point. So for example, if um, someone gets coronavirus in, you know, say they got it in October on Halloween, October 31st, they started having symptoms, they would be okay um, and would not be able to get the disease once again until so November, December, January 31st. Um, now that doesn't mean that you can't have, you won't have symptoms that last throughout those three months, but you can't get it again. Essentially, you can't recover and get it again um, in that three month time frame because you can't get it again um, at this point because the vaccine is so rare and because people, you know, are it waiting in line to get it. The um, a lot of hospitals are choosing not to exactly give the shot to the first responders during that time frame because essentially they're not going to get it during that time anyways and they'd rather protect the staff members that have not gotten coronavirus and can become infected. Um, I spoke with Mercy St. V's kind of about this today, uh, yesterday, and then kind of continued the conversation today and they did in fact tell me that yes, staff members who you know, have had COVID-19 within the past three months aren't necessarily on the top of the list, even if they are working in places like um, the emergency room or the ICU, or they're dealing with COVID-19 patients every day, um, they're, they're essentially not prioritized on that list anymore, just because, you know, they can't get it. They can't get COVID again right away. So at this point, they'd rather, you know, vaccinate their other staff members. So that is something that I found um, interesting myself. Um, you know, at this point, we know there are people who are hesitant to get this uh, to get this vaccination, even though the science has come out uh, saying it is safe. I know the process was sped up, um, but you know, time and time again, doctors say that you know the steps were not skipped. Uh, st yeah, steps were not skipped. A little bit of a tongue twister there, um, and that they feel completely safe getting it. Ultimately, though, we have they are you know prioritizing people who are working directly with those patients um, and people who are working in places like nursing homes or people who live in nursing homes because they are at risk for the virus the most. Okay, so now that I've kind of explained that, I hope that kind of makes sense. If you have questions about anything I just explained, feel free to drop them below. Um, 
but I am still going to kind of scroll through here and see what else we've, what questions we have. <sighs> do, 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 do. See some people dropping their personal experiences with COVID or friends that they know have had it. How long and how often do you need to get a shot after you get the initial shot? You have to get a booster after six months. So right now, um, what they're, it's a two-part process, at least the Pfizer one, which is what um, the local employees at St. V's are, are currently getting. So you get two shots. You get one um, whenever you get it, and then exactly three weeks later, you will get another shot. And that is, um, that is how that works. Still going through. Um, we, we did have a couple questions, I know, on some of our Facebook articles about um, about oh, excuse me, it's escaped my thought. Oh, when the vaccine is going to be available to everyone, so like when you can just go get it like a flu shot. Still, we're, uh, we haven't been given that information. It will probably depend, be a state-by-state -state type thing. Um, but they are predicting that spring of 2021 could be when that is. So it's it will be very similar, we're told, to the way that people get flu shots. Is this a live vaccine? I'm not really sure what you what you mean by that. Um, I'm gonna kind of pull up some of the other questions. Is it your choice whether to take the vaccine or not? Oh, yes. This has not been mandated by anyone. No, yes, it is your choice. Um, it's even the choice I've heard. I've seen a lot of people asking, um, you know, the, the people who are first in line, you know, the people who work in, um, you know, the emergency room departments at, at Mercy who could have gotten the shot yesterday if they want to. They do have the option to turn it down if they so choose. Again, they are... Um, they are encouraging it. A lot of them, I'm told, feel fine getting it and feel comfortable getting it, but they do have the option to turn it down. Scroll through. Mm. I think people are are asking um, June. Are we going to get it by June? Um, essentially, I believe so. Um, so th right now they're predicting the spring. So obviously June is is end of spring, start of summer. So that's the plan. But obviously things change. We know that if anything in 2020. Um, things will change. And that was one of the, another thing I see people commenting about, like, are you going to get it? Is this person going to get it? Who's going to get it? Um, one of the nurses that got it yesterday, she was one of the first people to get it in Toledo. And she, she made the point that, you know, as a nurse, she felt she had to lead by example, just because, um, you know, in order to get rid of this, this is the first step. You know, if people don't trust this, if people don't get it, ultimately this virus is going to stick around and, you know, no one wants that. Still going through. I'm trying to pull up some of the questions that we got on Facebook earlier today. Um, so sorry if I'm a little, little spacey during this, guys, but I'm on my computer. Oh, good questions that we've gotten about masks. So once we, once you get wear a mask, once you get vaccinated, you have to stop wearing a mask. Um, doctors are saying no at this point. They still would like everyone to wear a mask. This is kind of the beginning of the end. We've probably heard that a couple times over the past few days. Um, but they still, you know, want people to be wearing masks and social distancing, have it a regular part of your lives. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so I hope, I don't know if that answers that question. Oh, have any, has anyone gotten sick after the vaccination at all? I mean, I can't speak for every single American who's gotten the vac vaccine. I personally am unable to, to speak with every single person who's gotten the vaccine. Um, but I did talk to the people who got it yesterday at Mercy, and all of them say they're feeling fine. 
a lot of people compared it to a flu shot too. The like pain level, if any of you, for those of you who have gotten the flu shot, they say it's, it's very similar. What about, okay, what about the ones who decide to get the first shot but forget to get the second shot? No, it's like a, you have to get the second shot. Um, it's not like you can forget or they can just like say, oh, we ran out. Um, you, it's mandated. So when you get that first shot, you sign something saying, I will, I agree, I will get the next shot uh, three weeks from whenever you get it. So it's not really an option to just skip it. I don't really know why you would want to skip it, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Any other questions? I can I can try and answer based off what I've been learning at this point. Hopefully, this kind of helped you guys um, give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, and when, I, I mean, right now, St. V's is the only hospital here that has it, um, but ProMedica and uh, other area hospitals are expecting shipments very time soon. Um, I'm seeing this thing about Alaska. I'm, I'm, sh I'm reading some of these things. There's an explanation in the comments uh, for those of you commenting about whatever worker in Alaska, but I don't report in Alaska, so I don't know. <laughs> I report in Toledo. Um, anyways, so there are people who have, are getting it right now at St. V's. Other hospitals like ProMedica and other area hospitals um, are supposed to get their shipments next week. So as soon as that happens, we will update you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.